guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alia if you are new here. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be doing a curly hair product review and the brand is called Coconut. So yes, in case you're wondering, I do have naturally curly hair. This is about day five of it being straight and I just finished a workout, so it's looking a little busted. But if you're curious as to what my normal curly hair routine is, I will link one up above for you to check out. So I discovered this brand on Instagram. It was a recommended advertisement. I think I had been looking at pages of girls with curly hair to try and get some inspo for different hairstyles. And Instagram was like, hmm, you like curly hair stuff? Well, we're just gonna spam your entire feed with curly hair brands. Don't you just love how the internet does that? So anyway, I found this brand through that and I was tempted, so I clicked on the ad and I went to their page and on their Instagram it says 100% toxic free natural cosmetics, 100% sustainable, 100% PETA cruelty free. So what really caught my eye was the toxic free. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I always try to find products that have the least amount of garbage in it, just because it's obviously better for you. And the one I went with was actually a pack and it was the Enrich Your Curls pack. So I think I paid 75 euros for it. So you can convert, they do ship worldwide, which is great. So you can, you know, view it in your particular currency. The reason I picked the Enrich Your Curls pack was because my hair is really dry and brittle and it's really hard to come across good curly hair products in Ireland. It's like basically impossible. And I'm running low on products anyway, so I was like, you know what, let's just go the whole nine yards, get the entire pack, get this party started, and so that's what I did. And they do have other packs like that if you don't need the super enriched one like I have. They have different options. You can also buy each product individually if you don't need the whole shabam. So in the pack I have, I have the shampoo, the conditioner, the hair serum, the booster, and the curl spray. So the shampoo repairs, strengthens, smooths cuticles, and prevents frizz. Conditioner detangles, repairs, split ends, stimulates hair growth. The serum deeply nourishes and hydrates. The booster defines and leaves curls flexible and loose, and the curl spray sets without a matted effect. Now let's talk about what's in them. So it says 100% natural perfume, so there's no artificial fragrance, which is really good because I don't know if you know, but artificial fragrances in your products can actually interfere with your hormones, and that's just all bad. And when I'm looking at the ingredients list, I'm not seeing anything particularly bad jumping out at me, and... As you guys know, I spend like hours a day researching chemicals in my hair and makeup and skincare products. So here's the shampoo and here's the conditioner. Just looks like normal bottles. It says no silicones, no sulfates. Oh, and on the back, it actually says here no colors, no mineral oils, no palm oil, no parabens, no aluminum, no silicones, no EDTA, no GMO, no harsh fragrances, no hydroquinone. I haven't heard of that one. No phenanix fall i know that one but i can't pronounce it no dea no endocrine disruptors no microplastics no sulfates that was a mouthful but it's good when companies list stuff like that and that way you don't have to go searching for it in the ingredients list it's nice when it's just listed right there at the top so we love to see it. So the curl booster just looks like this. It's in a little pump bottle. So that tells me it's probably similar to a lotion consistency. And then we have the curl spray, pretty straightforward spray bottle. And then we have the capillary argan serum. So I'm assuming this is some sort of argan oil based on the name. And it just comes in a little eyedropper bottle like this. So I think we're gonna try all of them because I don't think that a loose hold is going to work. My hair is pretty frizzy, especially right now in Ireland. It's been pissing rain for the last month, so it's very humid. So yeah, we're gonna try these all and I'm going to shut up now and we are going to jump into the shower. <laughs> Now that I'm out of the shower, I'm going to start out with the Curl Booster Cream, and I'm just gonna do a couple pumps of this and work it through my hair. My hair is still sopping wet. I like to put all the product in and comb through my hair while it's still sopping wet because that way the curls are able to kind of 
go back to their natural form that they like want to be in. Whereas if I put my hair up in a towel and take it down, it's damp and then I comb through, it starts to get kind of frizzy. So this is the best way for my hair. I have three A curls by the way, in case, in case you were wondering. quite a bit more watery than I thought it would be, which is interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and comb through now. It's hard to tell because it doesn't feel like the thick consistency that would normally give you a lot of hold, like a lot of the other curl creams I've used in the past, but that might be good because it won't weigh down your hair and it won't leave hopefully a lot of like nasty sticky buildup. So I've just got this towel draped over my shoulders because I don't like it when my shirt gets soaked from my hair. So next I'm going to go in with the curl spray and I think I'm going to scrunch this in after I comb it through because it seems to me that this is going to be the stronger hold. Actually, you know what, before I do that, I forgot, I'm going to add this oil in just to kind of like soften my hair a little bit. Just on the ends because my hair really, really likes argan oil. It hates coconut oil. But it really likes the argan oil. And I might actually have to add more of this in once my hair is dry, just to kind of smooth down any frizzies and just make it extra shiny. I forgot to mention the shampoo and conditioner smell really like lemon, which I think is like a lemon essential oil, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to comb that through and then I'm going to scrunch my hair and we should be good to go. Okay, so this is how it looks. It's actually really hard to tell with these products if you've put too much or not enough in because they don't have that normal like producty consistency feeling. Like even after scrunching my hair and all that, I don't really feel like I have any products on my hands at all, which is really interesting actually. I've never experienced any straight or curly hair product that leaves your hands like completely not sticky especially with like a spray that you're expecting to kind of mimic a gel so the last thing i'm going to do and this is just to get more volume is i like to clip up my roots while the length of my hair dries that way my roots aren't like flat to my head and i don't end up with that like triangle head situation so this is how it looks with the clips in and Normally I just completely let my hair air dry. I don't normally like diffuse or anything like that. So I'm just gonna let it air dry and I'll be back with you guys later tonight for the final results. What's up guys? So I'm back. It is about 6 p.m. now. So it's been some odd hours since I washed my hair. It did take quite a long time to air dry. So I did end up diffusing the roots of my hair a little bit with some heat and some bursts of cool air as well. I feel like that really helped improve the volume of my hair. The top of my head was looking kind of flat despite the clips. I don't actually think that that has anything to do with the products because like I said, they are really lightweight so they weren't weighing down my hair at all. So I'm actually really impressed with the final result. Like I said, it doesn't feel like you even have any product in your hair. There's not really a super crunchy aspect where you need to kind of scrunch out the gel cast on your hair. There was just a tiny bit up at the roots, but I scrunched out really easily, and now my hair just feels very soft, bouncy, lightweight. I don't feel like I have any product in my hair. It just feels like my hair dried really nice after shampooing and conditioning, which would literally never happen in real life. So I am really impressed with the result. It definitely has a lot of volume. It doesn't look super separated. It held the curls nicely. They're nice and juicy and full. And I'll pop up an image right here of what my hair looks like after doing my normal curly hair routine. So I wanna kind of go over the products again and talk about how I feel about each one. So for me, shampoo and conditioner, I feel like they kind of all operate fairly similarly, but I did notice that this one had a really strong lemon scent, especially the shampoo. So if you don't like like a scented anything or you don't like a citrus scent, you might not like that. It does say that the scent is an essential oil scent. It's not a fake artificial smell, so at least that's an upside. But some people are sensitive to essential oils. And I did notice that as my scalp was drying, it was feeling a little bit itchy, and my scalp doesn't really like essential oils. I would say it really doesn't like lemon essential oil in particular. 
so it was a bit itchy and it's not so bad now like i don't feel it anymore but as it was drying i was like mm -hmm. so that's just something to think of if you have like a sensitive scalp that doesn't like essential oils this cream is extremely lightweight it's almost like it melts in your hand and it's very almost like it's not like a cream it's like a liquid with a thicker consistency to it but I actually really like that because my hair does not do well with really thick heavy products like I can't use any of the Shea Moisture line at all because it makes my hair super weighed down and greasy and it just doesn't define my curls at all it's just very limp so if you're someone who doesn't want something over the top hydrating to where it's just going to weigh down your hair this is really really great and I wasn't really sure how much to use so I probably use like more than normal, but it came out fine. It doesn't feel like I have like a huge overload of product in my hair. So definitely really like this. The other thing that I was really worried about actually with this line is because obviously it's like a little knockoff of the name coconut, coconut. My hair hates coconut anything. Like it hates it. Coconut oil, any sort of hair products with coconut in it, my hair like just repels it it does not want to like absorb it at all and it makes my curls look like shit so the fact that this didn't do that was really nice they didn't like overdo it with the coconut in the product in my opinion because my hair actually curled <laughs> so that was good as far as the curl spray goes i think it really helped tame my frizz i think if i had just used this we'd probably be in a bit of like a fuzzy situation right now so this was really nice because it did offer like a nice medium hold which it claims to do and you can also refresh your curls with it next day and like kind of get that bounce back and get rid of some of that frizz so we love a multi-purpose product again really like this didn't feel like a super heavy gel that i had to scrunch out later so that was really nice the last product is this argan oil to be honest i think this is the only one that i'm just like meh like you could probably just get any sort of like oil that you like that works for your hair and it would be kind of the same thing i don't know that i would spend the money on this on its own i mean it's nice that it comes with the set and like my hair does like the oil so it's not like it's a super greasy oil like i use a decent amount and some oils will make my hair really oily because like i said my hair doesn't really absorb oil very well like any kind of oil just something to be aware of though this does have quite a strong essential oil smell and there are quite a few essential oils in this and I think this is actually a multi-purpose oil because I did see this on the skincare section as well and it does have squalene in it which is really good for hydrating your skin. So you could use this as like a type of like nighttime oil serum like if you like rosehip oil and stuff like this is a very similar consistency. The only thing that was like a bit off-putting was the really like the strong lemon and lavender smell which I like the smell of those things but like I said if I was to put it at the roots of my hair it would itch like a mofo so I just I focus this on like the length of my hair and it's fine so yeah overall I am really happy with the outcome of these products I think it was money well spent and I definitely recommend it if you have 3a curls like me and your hair gets weighed down easily or doesn't like oil that much this line was really good for hydrating my hair without going over the top with it and again they have other products for different concerns on the website for other types of curly hair or just whatever it is that you might need of course i'll be sure to link all these products down below for you so be sure to check that out and do leave me a comment and let me know if you want to see more hair product reviews in the future and thank you guys so much for watching